Afternoon Troopers, I'm fat, but we've all got something we're ashamed of. I'm sure you've done that thing. Yeah, you've done that. Yeah, you've done that. I knew you'd done that. Dirty. Anyway, so um, welcome to Inside the Man Cave, but we are no longer in the Man Cave at the moment. We're now in the front room, the posh room. It's a bit echoey. It's a long way over there. Um, to show you this wonderful piece of artwork. Um, that I bought at an auction, I don't know, last year. And it's an original, it's completely original from the 1979 Paris Science Fiction and Fantasy Film Festival. I bought three of these at auction. Um, 19, I think it was 78, 79 and 81. And they're all very different, but they're all, um, they're all at the Grand Rex Cinema in Paris. Um, and they're all um, about the same time as you, or towards the end of November. And the this is the best of the three. So, um, well, in my opinion, they're all wonderful. Uh, one of them I gave to my friend Al for his birthday last year because I thought he'd appreciate it. It's really nice. Another one I donated to the language department of another of a local school. And this one I've kept for myself. Um, uh, as you can see. 1979, heavily influenced by C-3PO. Um, yes, you, she's got, she's got nipples showing, I'm sorry about that, nothing we can do about that. Um, but it's a wonderful piece of, so 70s art, isn't it? So 70s. Um, and I really like the colour palette. I love the fact that the top quarter is so warm and um, like orange and reds and golds. But then the second half goes towards blue, but then you've still got the gold of the girl. And it's a, it's clever. It's a really clever folk. It's a really clever painting. Um, and as you can read, we'll read the top, the ninth, well, the 9E, I, don't, I think that's how the French do ninth. Festival International du Paris du Film, Film Fastique et de Science Fiction, Grand Rex, 15, 25 November 1979. Uh, so it's the ninth, the ninth. Um, film Festival of Science Fiction and Fantasy at the Grand Rex Theatre in Paris. Um, I was born in 77, I wish this was the 1977 one. Uh, the other two, one was very heavy, very heavily, verily, verily, verily forsooth, it was influenced by the work of H.R. Geiger. And um, the other one has got like a huge stone, half stone, half animal mammoth on the front. It's really, it's, it's nice, that's the one I gave to Al. But this for me, this was my favourite. This is the one that drew me to the collection uh, and it's why I bought it. So to deconstruct it, we've got an army. We've got a ship there, which may or may not be crashed. And then we've got an army going back in perspective of these pitted bronze men. They're very masculine, very muscular, very veiny. Um, being led by a very different but similar. I don't think we're supposed to think they're the same as him. He's definitely different. Um, and he's very C-3PO influenced massively. It's about as close to C-3PO as you can get without George Lucas's lawyer going, hello. And then of course we've got a beautiful naked lady objectifying it. That's not cool. But remember, this is the 1970s. We are dealing with a whole different set of social rules. It was a poster, it's been mounted onto board, which has essentially destroyed it, but it means it will have, it's going to last forever, so it swings and roundabouts in a nice little white wooden frame. Um, it's one of my genuinely treasured possessions, which is why it's in the lounge and not in the games room, and also it fits the white walls in here really nicely as well. Um, and it's, it's nice to have a bit of art upon the wall, even if it is a little bit avant-garde. And it's definitely, it's classy. I think it's classy, even though there's some eroticism to it. But it's classy. It's a genuine antique. Well, not antique. It's, it's vintage retro. Um, it's a future antique. It's a future relic. It's foreign, because it's all in Gret French. Um, so it's, there's a lot of class and there's a lot of coolness to it. And I think this is achingly cool. Um, and I wish I'd got room for all three of them, but all three of them would have been a little bit overkill because I see it's like A1 or, you know, I think it is A1. Yeah, it's A1. So that's, that's poster size, isn't it? 
So uh, I'd like to visit the Grand Rex if it still exists, because obviously it's been on my mind a lot with the three posters that I bought. Um, I don't think this is worth a great deal. It might be worth millions, I doubt it. But to me, it's worth quite a lot, um, just because it's, it's, it's not a stupid juvenile object like most of the things I've got next door. It's, it's a very adult, classy, sophisticated piece of art. And it's throwaway art as well. I've always thought that, like years ago, I said, you know, when you talk about what's going to be an antique in the future, I always said things like uh, flyers for really famous DJs and bands. Because you get it when you throw them away. And if you look at what's collectible and worth money now from the 50s and 60s, it's stuff like that. concert tickets, Jimi Hendrix and stuff. And um, So this is essentially disposable art. It's pop art, really. Um, in its most literal sense, it's a commercial piece of art for an event that's got pretensions of um, high art, really. So I think it's airbrushed, very 70s, uh, very French as well, and slightly erotic. It's probably why it's a bit French, because you know they Frenchies, they love a bit of woo woo woo, woo la la, oui oui pop Um so that's that really, I wanted to share it with you because I really like it. Um, and I also really like, I don't get the fact that the, the footprints in the sand aren't those guys. Because those guys are fairly clearly going all the way back and seem to be rising. I don't know when that's poor artistry, poor perspective. It can't be because it's so good. Do you know what I mean? So there must be something else going on there. And I think the author had a story going on there. There is a name. W Studmac. I want to have Googled that really. I might have a look at that. W Studmac. Um, great bit of fantasy sci-fi art. I like it a lot. So that's this video done. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Sorry for the echo. It is a big room. Sorry. Um, and we haven't got a great deal of fabrics here because we're, we like to live quite stylish. And there's no carpets in here, it's hardwood, of course. So, um, yeah, as I said, thanks for liking and subscribing. Leave a comment if you like this. If you've, got, if you've ever seen something like this, or you've ever seen something, like one of the others from one of the other years, and you've got a photo of it, please send me that. I'd really like to see it. Okay, in the meantime, have a great weekend. Bye!